Yes, beautiful people. Remember when we were talking about the royal website and how Harry and, and the royal website says that he's not carrying out officials duty, but that means that he is carrying out some other forms of duty. This is a blind item. Apparently the ginger haired one looked into having his home be an official mission council so he wouldn't have to pay property taxes on the residents. Guess who? Prince Harry. Unfortunately for consuls, you know, even a consulate, um, it, if it's um, sometimes they don't, th their homes are not um, tax deductible most of the time because there's an embassy and most of the consuls are uh, honorary ones. So it's like they don't get paid for anything. I know because one of my cousins is a consul, you know, and, and, and I work with this. But he tried to get it done. So we are still seeing here how Harry and Meghan are trying to swindle the United States and the United Kingdom. Okay? Um, it, it will be worth watching whether this is actually going on or not because somewhere, somehow, you know, it's the money trail. Al Capone was brought down by taxes. I have a very, very sneaky suspicion that this is going to happen to Harry and Meghan Marco. I mean, this this is when they came back from their supposed uh, vacation just now. This is the U.S. Customs and Border uh, Protection. Why? Why? Why are they being protected? Why is the police there? And it's you beautiful people in the United States and beautiful people in the United Kingdom who are paying for it because if this is being done in the United States, there's a bilateral agreement that whenever you have an official abroad, you both share the expenses. This is why we Canadians, when they went to that island, we said no because the expenses or the cost for security is shared. So, you know, so this is why there was that petition that within a week it got over 80,000 signatures and this is why Trudeau uh, that ass kissing idiot who's now censored Canadian uh, social media um, had to give in and say, we Canadians are not going to pay for the security anymore because it is shared. It is a shared cost and expense. So this is so you guys know that they were picked up by U.S you know, police pay security. And that person over there, right by, next to Harry, it looks like proper security. So, hmm. And all of this security, all of this protection, backed by the royal family, by the he current monarch, all for the likes of this, this D-lister who doesn't even know how to lie. That's, I mean, she's a bad actress, bad liar, below average intelligence and the only thing that she's got is that she's got an idiot prince going for her okay look at this is this is when she went on honeymoon with her first or second husband what made Meghan Markle blush on her New Zealand honeymoon with first husband you know that this is her writing because she wants to portray herself as this virgin that blushes this is a woman who wouldn't know what a blush is other than what she puts on her cheeks, you know. This woman has no shame. How, how would she know how to blush? Because she makes up this story. So this is why I tell you that the story that was leaked or the passerby who took that picture, which actually was in a recent picture of them somewhere uh, and then, I don't know, on some island. And by the way, the forecast for the entire week was very cloudy with showers in the morning. But let's not get sidetracked. Megan's antipodian embarrassment came during a dream holiday with her new film producer husband, Trevor Engelson. And this is where we go because she likes to give grandiose titles. Her new film producer husband, Trevor Engelson, when the couple rented a camper van for a two-week road trip during the Christmas and New Year of 2011-2012. Why is this relevant? <laughs> she goes, I opened the shower curtain and there's this 13-year-old boy who had crawled under the stall and was trying to steal my underwear. I grabbed a towel and I'm like, where is your mother? I found his parents who were mortified, she said. I can laugh about it now, but at the time I was so shaken up about a 13-year-old boy. And by the way, all this story is made up. She told this ZM breakfast show, he was just a little prankster. He was harmless. 
probably probably bored to tears with his family. That's because this woman has no family values and she doesn't enjoy spending time with her families. We sure as hell know she doesn't like spending time with her children because, well, well, with the children at the house that they have because they never take them anywhere. So this comment that the kid was probably bored to tears with his family. I mean, I wasn't bored to tears with my family growing up. I love spending holidays with my family. It was a lot of fun. But now for Megan. So Megan is expected to return to New Zealand in October with Harry after they visit Australia for the Invictus Games. This was an article because they were talking about them, uh, her first trip to, to New Zealand, right? So let's keep going. Before she was royal, Meghan Markle's camper van road trip through New Zealand. And then this is a current article, right? Uh, this is after she had been married to Harry. In light of upcoming royal nuptials, we thought back to early 2015 when we interviewed Meghan Markle, then a free-spirited mortal actress and founder of lifestyle website, The Tig. Again, grandiose. Founder, you know, actress spirited mortal well what is she in immortal <sighs> well the, her lies never seem to die that's for sure um about a two-week road trip she took through new zealand taking the advice of her suits castmate gabriel mack this is the lead character of suits okay markle rented a camper van with a friend plotting a and here comes the big lie remember when we went to trevor how they gone on a camper van, how that 13 year old boy tried to steal her skanky smelly underwear and how he was bored with his family. And here we have Meghan Markle in 2015 saying that it was Gabriel Mack that she went to New Zealand with. No, not he went to New Zealand with, but she went to New Zealand because Gabriel Mack gave her the idea. And here we go. Markle had never camper van before. I didn't even know it was a verb, she says, but it appealed to parts of her childhood, the road trips with her dad and Girl Scouts with her mom. I was told to let go of my impressions of RV culture in the U.S., that it was a totally different thing in New Zealand. And off she went on the left side of the road into a world where the campsites were impeccable, blah, 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 her bullshit. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. I know that after I said this, I know you're going to rewind to go hear what I told you about Trevor Engelson because God knows I would. So, I mean, the lies, but what's, you know, what's incredible is that the very same press who did that article about the 2011, 2012 trip she took in a camper van with Trevor Engelson, of which there are loads of pictures, uh, are, it's pretty much the same press, the saying that Meghan Markle, it was the first time that she camper van in ever because she never heard of that before, even though she spent uh, Christmas and New Year's in New Zealand in a camper van. I know, I know what you're thinking. I know you're going to rewind it because I would too. Is that prior to Meghan being there? I think that anybody would say, oh, yeah, I heard this, I heard this. You he really didn't hear anything because the royal family there was no gossip to be had, especially for, you know, a Los Angeles based gossip blogger. Yeah. But when Meghan Markle enters the picture, then it adds a whole bunch of other people that all of a sudden you can get some more information from, especially back then, you know, when she was with hanging out with Jessica Mulroney and then Jessica had friends and stuff. And so then it becomes a little bit easier to get actual Royal gossip. And, you know, the, the trend has continued. The worst part of it all is that everybody knows she's lying. Everybody knows, just like you just heard this amazing, amazing, um, go please watch uh, To Die For Daily with Kinsey Schofield on YouTube. The whole interview is absolutely, absolutely incredible. The incredible thing is, like he says, and like Shallon Lester said, that before Meghan Markle arrived to the royal family, there were nothing like you didn't know what the royals were up to on a daily basis. They they would go on about their business as soon as Meghan Markle arrived. Leaky, leaky ship. Because this woman is sick in the head for fame. It's not that she's sick and she doesn't know what she's doing. She's just absolutely desperate and sick to be famous. To and she hates Harry because Harry doesn't have to worry about that. 
Harry doesn't have to worry about anything because he knows he's still on the royal website. He knows Pa will, get, you know, he will be back. I still hear some people who are saying, oh, we'll have him back, but he'll have to do this, but we'll have him back. <laughs> Never mind the elderly abuse he did to her late majesty and Prince Philip or the harm that he has purposely caused to his brother and sister-in-law and everybody and all his friends. Never mind that. So yeah, before Meghan Markle arrived, nobody, nobody. And what's so funny is that Harry, who's so paranoid, doesn't understand that the leak that's sinking his ship is standing right next to him. Isn't that something, guys? Where if she had been on Suits, and when she was married to Trevor Angleson, she didn't say, oh, let me invite George Clooney mm -hmm. to my wedding. You know, she didn't know him when she married Harry, but she knew that I could send this out and these people are going to come. These people who would never take my phone calls before, all of a sudden they're going to take my phone calls because I'm with Prince Harry. And I mean, anti-lawyer, you got to laugh. You really have to laugh because what he said is what we all have been saying that it is laughable to think, no disrespect to Trevor Engelson, but Trevor Engelson is just one of the many producers. But there was no way that Meghan Markle, when she married Trevor Engelson, was gonna say, oh, Trev, 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 I'm gonna call George Clooney, Reese Witherspoon, who, by the way, declined her invitation, because Reese Witherspoon was like, why would I go to this woman? I don't even know her, this is so weird. George Clooney went because he's very good friends with uh, Charles. So, yeah, I mean, can you imagine her saying to Trevor Engels, I'm going to call, call George Clooney, I'm going to call Angelina Jolie, I'm going to call Oprah, uh, yeah, I'm going to call Serena Williams. Why wasn't Serena Williams at her first wedding? I mean, this is a woman whose claim to fame is that she had a supporting role in a B-list series and spent half of the time, if not more, naked. And then she was a deal or no deal girl because everything else was downhill from there. But can you imagine Meghan Markle saying to Trevor, I'm gonna, do you think George Clooney would have taken her call? Do you think Tyler Perry would have taken her call? Oprah? <laughs> I mean, it's laughable. Yeah, so I mean, anti lawyer nails it. I mean, the only thing that she's got is, and remember what I've been telling you? That she's got access to Harry's little black book and because she knows that they're gonna answer that call because they're still pandering to her because of the idiot she married, because his family is backing him still. So yeah, I mean, yeah, just, just think and laugh a little bit, chuckle a little bit, you know, when thinking that Meghan Markle would have called while being on Suits or Deal or No Deal Girl, George Clooney, or even going to George Clooney's uh, villa, yeah, I'm surprised, why didn't she call Tyler Perry? Why didn't Tyler Perry lend that sister a voice? If you're enjoying this video, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Um, yes, thanks for always coming to watch um, the videos. And thanks for being a member of the channel. We're going to have a fun live this Saturday. Uh, tomorrow I have my live with Megan Small. And then uh, on Saturday we do the members live. I hope you join us tomorrow for the members live, for Megan Small. And show support. Thank you very much. And yeah, don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe, beautiful people. And they're just spending more and more time apart. And there's nothing left for them to exploit together. And the worst part of it all, like he says, they are done. Anything that the two of them could have done together, that's it. Because what else can they do together? This is why Meghan Markle has WME, because Harry doesn't want to do anything. Harry just wants to sit home smoking pot, doing nothing, being a prince, because he knows one way or another his pot is going to rescue him, and they're not going to let him go down with the ship, because King Charles is not about to have his son uh, shame him like that. So he much rather keep shilling all the money. We just saw that the U.S. Border Police Protection went to pick them up at the private airplane that they flew in with, you know, or into which means that the taxpayers are sharing the burden and the expenses for these two grifters. And yeah, Meghan Markle, you know, we talk about Meghan Markle blatantly lying and the failure of the press to call her out and saying, Meghan, 
Megan, you already went on a camper van in 2011, 2012 with your first or second husband. Just like the press, they don't call her out about what she's doing to her father while being the champion for mental health. Or, you know, the laughable Invictus. Now they're claiming that Harry was the founder of Invictus. And, you know, while Samantha Markle, who was in the U.S. Air Force, is basically, you can say she's a veteran and heavily disabled and who's being trashed, defamed, abused by her sister. So they're still pandering to things. But the press, it's the press. The press is not calling them out. I can guarantee you guys that if the press starts calling, if the press were on this every bloody day, calling them out, pointing out these lies constantly, they would stop. Instead of pandering, Carson Daly sh shaming himself like a little pussy right there on stage. And how are you doing, Me Mega Marco? <laughs> Microphone. I'm doing okay. Don't touch my mic. There's nothing left for them other than to get divorced. And I can, Harry's about is been preparing to go to Africa because he can't stand that woman. Can you imagine being around Meghan Markle? And he chose her. And the only reason that he was such an idiot that they told him is because they were doing the long distance thing. Meghan Markle was lying to her suits producers saying that she had to do something important even though they were filming. Yes, you just read that right. She told her producers that she had something important to do because she was desperate because she knew she had to get her hooks on Harry and she knew that his attention span was very short. She knew that maximum two weeks because otherwise there's too much competition and she was an old hag. She is an old hag, an old ugly looking hag. You know, and, and that, I mean, and that people think that's a new picture. Just look at the feet on that woman, the legs on that woman. They still had some meat on, that, on those bones. I mean, I don't have to even analyze it because all you have to do is look at the weather forecast. And we know that Meghan Markle has a tendency to take pictures and then, you know, take them out later and, pre and pretend that that's just now. Because nobody's chasing them. Look how empty that was. Where were, where were the bodyguards? Because there were bodyguards when they got out of the airplane. So where were the bodyguards? with them on the island, probably taking the picture. They photoshopped the hell out of it. They probably photoshopped Megan and Harry together. I don't know, I don't care. But the lies this woman tells. And you know what? There's, when you go and listen to anti-lawyers saying that Megan Markle now needs a billionaire. Megan Markle had a billion, a trillion dollar brand at her fingertips being royal. And look what she did with it. The brand that she got was worth more than money because being a royal, being part of the royal British royal family, it's priceless. And she turned that into shit. Being with a billionaire, that's only money. That, that's not going to give her anything. There's no amount of money that can buy her class, that can buy her kindness, that can buy her decency, that can buy her any moral values, that can buy her a sense of truth because this woman, and she knows she's lying, by the way. That thing, oh, she doesn't know she's a narcissist. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. You know that she makes everybody curse at the WME, but now people are saying, no, we don't want to curse you to her. We're done with her. So yeah, I mean, and you know what's the sad part of it all? that it angers Meghan Markle when we don't buy her lies, which is why she wants to censor every bloody YouTuber, every newspaper who exposes her lies. And until she does, I'm going to be here exposing those lies because she's a liar. She's a natural born liar. You know, they say sometimes it's, uh, you know, there's always the nurture versus nature argument. Meghan Markle had a very bad nature. No amount of love because all Mr. Markle did was show her love, give her a great education, 
a, a stable environment, trying to keep a harmonious relationship with that a prison bird, that's Doria. Um, and yeah, pamper her, make sure that she had, as I said, great education, that she had food, and give her the best that he could give her. That's not a crime nor a sin. But unfortunately, all of this kindness fell on, fell on the wrong person, on the bad person. Because if you were a different type, if Meghan Markle were a different type of person, she would have been grateful. And she would have, you know, say, you know, now it's my dad's turn to be kind to him, to repay all, repay all he's done for me, to be proud of him, because she sure as hell was proud before. I mean, what do you guys think? How long do you guys give that marriage? And what do you think about having the royal brand versus having money? Meghan Markle could have made billions with that brand, but that's how shit she is. That's how unintelligent she is. That is how stupid she is that she, she had a diamond and she threw it away. Is that smart? Do you think people calling her smart are still are right on the money? Our queen was right. You know, and our queen could smell skank a mile away. 